Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Son of Mogaf. We're back playing Species today. I've set up this new world, which is partly water and partly land. It's roughly 50-50, it's not quite the same. And we're going to start a new test for our, for our creatures that we've been um, working with. Torturing, I think, is probably the better word for it. I've uh, killed everything that was already in the world. So let's go ahead and import this guy. It was this one. I'll just import 100 to begin with. And hope it doesn't crash, because it does that sometimes. There we go. Right, I just need to make sure they establish a, a viable population for a little while. And then what I'm gonna, going to be doing is I'm going to slowly be reducing the land fertility and the water fertility. I'm going to do them both at the same time. Just one click when they either reach the population density cap or when they um, when they have gone through about 25 generations just to give them chance to adapt a little bit now I did get a comment on one of my previous videos that was actually really interesting and also really very accurate it was about the about the creatures themselves and how they how they evolve essentially the the the, the creatures when they breed their offspring will be very slightly different to them and if that difference increases their chance of survival they'll survive they'll have a greater chance of surviving in order to produce their own offspring the mutations or the variations or the adaptations depending on how you want to phrase it will be random that's something that I've neglected to say in the past and the reason i've been waiting 25 generations is just to give that random variation in the gene pool chance to be beneficial that's one of the reasons why i've called the series evolve or die either they accidentally end up accidentally really isn't a good way of phrasing it it's not really accidental it's selective the way evolution works but hence the term natural selection but yeah that's just me giving the giving the guys chance to just change enough to increase their survival rate I, I wanted to point that out but i do know that i've just neglected to say that so um thank you to that guy i forgot your name my apologies um so yeah, thanks for that comment on my previous videos. It is something I'm aware of. It's, let's say, more of a fact that I neglected to mention it. I'm just gonna speed this up, especially while I'm yakking. They seem, they haven't had a breeding cycle yet, but I've been running it on normal speed. So hopefully these, oh God. Well, there's, there's that breeding, breeding cycle. Holy freaking hell. Some of them are migrating already, look. Coming into the water. L look at how they swim. It's so weird. So weird. I also got a comment on one of my previous videos about... I mentioned something about blood freezing. I, I was like, you know... Does it get so cold that your blood freezes? Apparently, yes. I also got a comment about that. That it's, in fact, one of the things that kills you when you're in extremely cold temperatures. Minute ice crystals can form in your bloodstream. And, of course, having that being pumped around your body is uh, not good. So, uh, yeah. So, thank you to that person. I, I forgot your name as well. I've written them both down on a bit of paper. And I don't know where that bit of paper is. I do that a lot. So my apologies for getting for forgetting both your names, but also many thanks for you know your interesting comments. It, it's wicked. If you've got more that you want to say, go ahead and do that. There's a comment section specifically for that, and I do love getting comments. I'm rubbish at answering them, 
really, really bad, but um, I do enjoy getting them, so thank you to those people. Continue to do that. While I was waffling, we hit the creature cat. So it's time to get rid of a little bit of food. If I just click it once... Wait, it stayed at two. There we go. So it went from 2 to 1.9. I don't think that will change anything. I'll just let it run for a little while. And I'm just slowly but surely going to keep reducing the land fertility just to see what they do. When they start to run out of food, it's not just the land fertility, it's the water fertility. I meant the world fertility. I'm not sure what they're going to do. My, my suspicion is that they will start to become carnivorous, but I don't know that. They are still at the creature cap. So I'm just going to put it down again. I don't know why I have to push it twice. That's weird that I have to do that. I said at the beginning of the video that I was only going to push it once, but if that doesn't actually change the value... There's not really much point, is there? I don't know how long this part of the series is going to run. This will probably be two videos, maybe three, depending on how well or how badly things go. Yeah, what is that white flash that keeps happening? Yeah, they're still at the creature cap. There's so many of them. And they can't breed because they're at the creature cap. So it's also tanging my frame rate. <laughs> so let's get that down to 1.7 and this down to 1.7. I had to click that three times then. Uh, uh, ignore the amount of clicks then. It's not a certain amount of clicks. It's just whatever it takes to change the value that pops up there, look. Where it says reduce water fertility 1.7 and reduce land fertility 1.7. I'm interested in, in seeing at what point they start to um, struggle to survive. Why are these white flashes that keep coming up? That's weird that it keeps doing that. There's still so many of them. I'm just going to pop it down again. Yeah, I had to click that three times. All right. That's fine. I'm not doing a certain amount of clicks then. I'm doing it by value. That's not a problem. Look at them. Look at them scurrying around. Weird little freakish creatures that they are. I, 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 I still can't believe these things used to be human-like. These started off as micro-humans. <clears throat> it's quite a while ago as well, I feel like now that I managed to get a version of a thing that looked slightly human to actually be something that can survive. And I think that was due to a comment on one of my videos as well, that I was making the humans roughly, the, they were like the size of the trees, which is ridiculous. They were using up energy walking, and they weren't getting enough energy from the food they were walking to to live, so they all died. That was the issue that I was having, so I made little ones, and look how far they've come, look. They definitely do not look human anymore. Not at all. I'm going to go ahead and decrease this again. Yeah, sometimes it's two clicks and sometimes it's three. I'm not really sure why it does that. I could just continuously reduce it until this drops significantly below the cap, but I just... I just want to do it slow. I want it to be steady and smooth. Once I'm done with the food test as well, I shall move on to the other ones. There is a... like a beta version of the patch available that allows you to mess with the oxygen and the gravity. I think that would be fun. I have mentioned that in my previous videos as well, that I, I, I'm just going to... Whatever value gravity is at, I'm assuming one to begin with. Like one Earth's gravity, like one G of gravity. 
I'll um, I'll just put a zero at the end of it, and then I'll wait for a little while, and then I'll put a zero, and then a zero, so it increases like tenfold each time. Like the difference between one gravity and ten gravity is absolutely massive, but the difference between ten and a hundred, it, it should be funny. I might also make the world a little bit flatter, so they don't have to. I don't know if the hills affect. The, 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 you know, how that works with the gravity, I, I don't honestly know. So that might be something I'll play with as well. I'll just put, put them on a flat world, increase the gravity slowly, and, you know, see how well they continue to live, and then maybe take them out of that world and put them in a world of normal gravity and see what happens. You know, with gravity and hills, or, I should say. Like, start them off on a flat world with tons and tons of gravity almost literally in that sense and then put them in the one with hills and see how they cope i don't know i'm gonna continue putting this down oh wait did go white for a little while then oh there are two species now Ooh, let's just um let me see if i can have a look at what that guy looks like before it goes extinct. Uh, um, hmm. It's... I, I don't even know. Are these... What are these things? Are they horns or are they hands? Arms? I don't know. Look at this. They're definite... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I hate it when it does that. They're definitely legs. Oh god, it keeps changing. Oh no. Right. There we go. So it's starting to get a little bit rough for them. Let me put it down a little bit more. We're already at 1.3 and we started off, what, 2? The land will get much less fertile and so there'll be less food. There we go. Look, now it's starting to affect them. So now we wait, I guess. Let me just have a look to see. They're on 16. Either they're going to hit the creature cap or this is going to get get higher up. Although, I, yeah, I think they're just going to hit the creature cap when they do an next breeding cycle, aren't they? They're only 100 or so away from it now. It's just a matter of, of whether or not they stay there. Because they're, 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 at this point, they're starting to have to compete with each other for food, rather than rather than there being an abundant amount of food. Yep, there they go. Look, they hit the creature cat. Although it is going up and down and up and down, it's it's hovering around the creature cat, which is pretty interesting. Right, I'll put it down one more. Like that. That should really start to affect things. We do still have two species, but I noticed down here that they... As is typical with this game, they evolve... Oh, they, they go mutated, and then they go extinct, and they mutate and go extinct, and... Welcome to evolution. <laughs> it's... Uh, it's an awesome thing, really interesting subject for discussion as well. It just um, sucks to be you when it comes to evolution because it doesn't care. It's got no drive, it's got no will or warrants or anything like that. It, it just selects. Like I said before, it's where the term natural selection comes from. There are other types of selection, but we're pretty much just doing natural selection. Although, it is me controlling the nature, so it's also a form of artificial selection, I guess. It's in that weird grey area. Yeah, look how, look, it goes barren, but it grows back really quickly. Because the fertility is still fairly high. I think one is default, so... They started off with quite a significant benefit. I don't think they're going to hit the creature cap anytime soon. 
Let me just check. I think this is our guy, isn't it? This is our starting dude. What else have we got? All right. It's this this almost the same thing with but with Joe. He he they they went extinct. The pictures just vanished, and I saw this down here. They they went extinct while I was looking at them. They also went extinct while I was looking at them. God damn it, game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's easier if I just do this on the clay diagram. Yeah, look, we're starting to get variants and mutants and all sorts of things. Oh, look at you. Aren't you almost not hideous? Your giant eyes in the middle of your mouth and your spindly little arms. Aren't you almost cute? Yeah, this is our guy right here. What? Oh, God. Philobysis Tricertus. That's probably completely badly pronounced, but welcome to my channel. What? Oh, I was about to say, what are you, sir? Like, these are arms, believe it or not. Are they arms or are they hands? I, I just realised there's a little stick there that is the arm, and I guess this is the hand. Yowza, these are freaking ugly. So we're back to just these guys. Philobysis tricertus, right. I need to try and remember that. I can't even say that. So it's this guy. Oh, there you go. What, what I'll do then is, is I'll just do a time skip. When this gets to 50, I'll um, bring you guys back and we'll reduce the, the fertility further and we'll, we'll see how this goes. Probably the same way the temperature thing did, you know, where the land can't support life anymore and so they just all die out. But... I'm kind of interested to see what the creatures themselves will do, where previously they like developed traits that like ignore temperature, which helps them migrate and find food. I'm just wondering if these guys will, I don't know, become carnivorous or go full herbivorous? I don't know, but um, I'll bring you guys back anyway. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, well, here we are back again with our um, with our guy that we've been following. He's completely changed his skin while we were waiting, which is interesting. He's gone from oily fur to smooth-skinned. It's not less horrifying. I'm just going to put it at that. Uh, the population is hovering around a 1,000, but we've got lots of extra species. What I find interesting about this is that the total population is, what, 978? There's 689 just of these, which means there's only, what, a handful of individuals in each one of these populations? Let's go and have a... Oh, oh God. Look at, look at this. Look. Boom. Over here. There's um, been a lot, of, a lot of change and death going on. Let's have a look. This is our dominant species. This is our guy. But we've got two major species, apparently. We've got a hundred of these, 35 of those. Why is this one so dark? What the hell? <laughs> oh, uh, it, it always makes me jump when it does that. I try and select this guy, and then I'll move him around like this, and it'll change to one of the other ones, and it makes me jump every single time. <laughs> okay, none of them are prettier, are they? A guy that was almost cute, he didn't. He, he was too beautiful to live, apparently. These guys are almost identical, apart from the one's darker than the other. This one seems to have started to develop eyes on the side of its head. Oh, there's another one there, look! Alright, that's not worrying or startling or horrifying at all. Our guy here, oh, he's got, he's got feet where his hands should be, but, you know... I'm I'm just happy that he continues to survive. I'll put it back on the the high speed. And the population goes up over a thousand. 
and then it drops down below a thousand and it goes up and down up and down so it's it's hovering however uh these guys are gonna get are gonna get hungry pretty quickly i should imagine i'm gonna just keep reducing the amount of fertility what does that say Note that this change will take place gradually. Oh, right. Yeah, well, I knew that. I thought that was new information for some reason. I had a bit of a, oh, my God, what? something changed. <laughs> but, uh, oh, that's, I love playing this game. I love watching these weird little freaks scurry around. It's, I don't know, it's strangely satisfying for some reason. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, I am your Lord and Master. I can give you more food and I can take it away. They're like, well, give us more food. And, nah, that's fine. I'll take it away. I'm just going to keep taking it away. So maybe stockpile food? That would be an interesting mechanic, actually. If they could evolve a trait that makes them like hoarders, where they go and store food somewhere for later. That would be an interesting mechanic. Could you get out of my camera, please? It's so much fun just watching them scurry around. I love it. Well, the population is hovering lower than it was before, which is exactly how it went when I was changing the temperature. Wow, look at that tree grow. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> Every time I look at something, it dies. Like, pfft, that thing died. Things are not awful. They're not great, but they're not awful. Have a look. We're at 1.1. I think when it goes below one, things are gonna start getting really iffy for these guys. But currently they're actually surviving pretty well. Just oh oh god. Hey It's it's so strange. Where they're all related, they look familiar, and sometimes I just forget which is the one that we started with. It was this guy that here, the dominant species. And these all started off as microhumans, as I mentioned a bunch of times. These are all roughly human at one point. And they're all related, they're all descendants of that race of microhumans. I that's another thing I just find really interesting. Ha ha ha, I will kill you all. They're still herbivores. Let's have a look. Just going to check out this information. Yeah, so this is our guy. He's uh, gluttonous, narcoleptic, aggressive, nose temperature. Oh, he's hairy skinned now. He was smooth skinned before. Oh, God, it changed. Oh, I hate it when it does that as well. It's freaky. What about the other ones, though? They're almost, one of them has the asexual trait. I don't know if that's beneficial to them or not, but I think that all, they're all herbivores. I'm so into, oh God, what are you? Hope, get off of my screen, please. Christ, that thing. Oh, the, I mean, they're all ugly, and I hate all of them, and I, I, I don't care if they die or live. But some of them are so... like, Really? Oh, that thing died. Okay, let me let me just stop waffling. Um, oh, it's this guy. I was going to say, this isn't the guy we've been following, and it is. It is. It, it's that guy. I'm just dumb. Let's bring his stats up. So he's up to 60. I'll uh, do another time skip. I'll bring you back when he's at like... Wait, what was he at before? 75. Because I, I brought you guys back when they were at 50. So we'll wait until this is at like... 70. What happened here? There we go. <laughs> but when this gets up to 75, I'll bring you guys back again. We'll reduce the food down to one. Which I think is the default value. Which essentially nullifies any advantages they would have had given to them by the environment. And after that, it yeah, it's gonna get rough. 
I don't like the extreme cold and the extreme heat in the previous videos that I did, but like I say, I'll do a time skip. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, time to come back and see how our guys are doing. This uh, guy's been changing his skin a lot, which has not been pleasant to look at. I am... Um, uh, where is it? He's now hairy skinned, which I, I think the humans, the micro-humans started off with. He's not smooth skinned anymore, or rough skinned, or oily furred. He's just hairy skinned now. Again, watching this has been super interesting to me. A lot of people would probably get bored, but I'm a weird guy, and watching these numbers fluctuate is interesting to me. Like, this population went right up to um, 1,600. It, it skyrocketed, which... And I'm not exactly sure why. My suspicion is that there was a mutation or an adaptation or whatever you want to call it that will that increased their chances of survival in this particular environment. But then it also plummeted shortly afterwards, which makes me think that species didn't survive. It's either that or that these extra species that have popped up, that they died off. This went back down to two. It's since come back up again. But I think maybe because a bunch of the other species died off, there was less competition for food. And which caused the population to go up because, yeah, no competition for food. But I don't know. The, the environment tends to keep everything in balance. Like when the population is low, the food regrows, so there's an abundance which supports a higher population. So the population goes up. But then because the population is high, there's not enough food for everybody. So some of them die off and reduces the population which lets the food regrow and so the food and the creatures that eat the food are constantly keeping each other in check it's like a natural balancing system let's uh talking about food and balancing systems let's take some of it away well we're down to one now the population actually went up when I did that, but also I didn't look to see what these other species look like. I'm just going to do that now. Look at all this death. Look, look at it. Let me zoom out. Look, so you can see it. We were, I think I moved it. I think we were like here somewhere. Don't, don't quote me on that. That might not be right. And look, we, we, look at all this. All this here look, is death. It's life, but it's also death. <laughs> Uh, let me zoom back in. Zoom, 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 zoom. All right. So we've still got this thing where the arms are growing through the head. I, I, I hate that. That's horrible. That one's actually got them coming out of its mouth. Congratulations, you're hideous. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? This thing's almost like a praying mantis type arm thing going on. Like. Uh, you wouldn't want to get punched by this thing. It looks kind of vicious. I've also noticed its eyes have almost glued themselves together. And this is our guy. He's changed quite significantly, but like I say, he keeps changing his skin and it's disturbing to watch. They all look so similar. <laughs> what? What the actual hell? It's got little stalks with eyes on there. It's got almost like regular eyes i think these are like compound eyes like flies have but it's also got these bloody quite big things like how, how did this happen this this one's doing the same thing it's just got less eyes on the side of its stupid ugly face <laughs> so we've got two dominant species now i've just realized this is uh Oh my god, Calcidium triceros. And this is our Philobysis triceratus. And this is the guy we started with, but this guy's, uh, these guys are actually starting to compete for domination. That's interesting. Again, sort of like praying mantis type thing going on here. How many of these have we got? One. So they're not going to live very long. Oh, oh god. Look. This one's got an ass. <laughs> I think they're supposed to be legs, but it looks like butt cheeks. It's just got giant butt cheeks that it scrapes along the ground. 
At least his eyes are in a reasonably normal place. I feel like they should be like here and here rather than like on its snout or nose or whatever you want to call it. But um, this might be the least weird of the ones we've got. It's also got teeny tiny little eyes on the back of its head. Look. How many of those are there? That's a minor species. There's only six of them. So just boop, put it on the normal speed again. Did I knock the food down already? I did. It's down to one. Ouch. I've been recording over an hour already. It, it feels like I've been playing five minutes, and I haven't. I've been playing over an hour. These videos take so much work as well, because I have to edit them right down. I don't mind. It's worth it. Especially if people, you know, enjoy the series and, you know, watch it. And as long as people enjoy the stuff that I do, I'm kind of all right with the work that I put into it. It's just a little disturbing, this game, at times. Watching these things scurry around and die and turn into hideous mutant creatures and... Ugh. Ugh. Man, the population is, is actually staying stable. It's not fallen off as much as I would have expected it to at this point. Like we're down to one from two, which essentially means there's half the fertility that it previously had. So there's still a lot of food about. It's just not regrowing as quickly. Which actually does, when you think about it, that means there's less food, but it's hard to put it into words, and I do words good. So, you know, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, and if you don't, I'm, I'm sorry. I ramble, and I mumble, I stutter, I am not good with the words. There's still so many of them, though. Look at all of them just scurrying around there's some in the water oh look at that guy swimming <laughs> that was <laughs> the swimming animations in this game are amazing oh look at him swim look oh no he's doing backstroke is he or is he just trying to head for the surface for air he died <laughs> he drowned himself <laughs> why is that funny why am i laughing you're a hideous monster yourself, son of Mogath. Not in the physical sense. More in the mental sense. I like the murder. Look at this thing. What would you think if this thing came scurrying at you in real life? I mean... I, I, I'd probably die of heart failure just looking at these things. It's like, I've been watching... Um, well, I, I mean, I, I nearly always watch horror films. Sci-fi and horror films is tend tends to be like the vast majority of the films that I watch. But I've been watching a lot of H.P. Lovecraft inspired films, lots of like eldritch beasts and insanity and stuff like that going on. And these things would fit into a H.P. Lovecraft world really easily. They're, they're just so utterly alien. Crazy. Anyway, <laughs> kind of went off on one there. Let me go ahead and save this world. Um, I think I've been saving it here. Yeah, <laughs> look at this previous one. Look how white it is. But, I mean, I know this. There's a lot of like barren parts here, but <laughs> this is all barren. It still makes me laugh. Uh, it's it's called Evolve or Die Temperature. I'm just gonna save over this one, just so um. I can, you know, remember, essentially. I've also got the micro-human world right there. Let me save that. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that there as an episode of... Um, what is this? Species, Artificial Life Real Evolution. We've reduced the fertility of the land from two to one. We've got a ton of new, you know, emergent species, which is interesting. Um, in the next episode, I'll reduce it from one to zero. And like I say, either they're going to eat each other or die. I, I don't see what other choice that they would have. But 
that's one of the reasons why I'm doing the series is just to find out exactly how these different mechanics work and how they affect the creatures in the world. So uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. I really am enjoying this series. I'm so glad I got back into playing Species. I took a break for quite a long time, but um, the news of this update that's coming up that affects, you know, the gravity and the oxygen, things like that, really got me interested again. So um, if you did enjoy the video and you haven't subscribed, go ahead, just click the subscribe button. It literally just takes two seconds and it makes yours truly super duper happy. What day is it? It's Thursday tomorrow, so I guess I'll be seeing you then with more Resident Evil 3 Remake. I don't know how far along with that I am. I'm maybe two thirds of the way through, I think. Possibly. Maybe. Don't know. But uh, yeah, I'll be doing more of that tomorrow, which is when I will see you next.